Hi. How you guys doing out here? Hi guys. I'm I'm here with the one and only Robbie Reese. How you doing, Robbie? I'm very well, sir. How are you? I'm great now because I'm in your presence. Oh, the <laughs> will get you everywhere. I hope. Desire. I hope Desire. it does. <laughs> First of all, man. Um, honestly and truly, I wanted to meet you for a long time. My reason is because I'm a fan of the show you used to perform on Kid Video. Mm -hmm. I really love that show. There's a full four of you out there. That's great. That's amazing. My brother and I used to religiously watch your show, man. I mean, like, really watch it because the cartoons, live action, music video, it's like the best of everything. I thought it was, I mean, especially the second year where everything is really psychedelic and strange. I mean, a lot to offer that, you know, the show has a lot to offer, but, uh, you know, it's probably just never going to see the light of day because of all the licensing issues. I think the minute they started using other people's songs, uh, it became a, you know, became a Yes, and uh, unfortunately, that's that's the downfall of Kid Video, yeah, yeah. the licensing issues, yeah, and but we got. I mean, there was a lot of great experiences that came out of that. We got to. I mean, in Israel, because you know it was a Haim Saban production, and it was actually his first American. Kid Video was his first American production. He actually had a lot of success in Israel before he came over, and uh, because of that, Kid Video. I don't know if you know about this, but. Yeah, really there was candy bars. You guys released an album for the Israel market. I saw the I saw the video footage. It's really amazing. Yeah, yeah it's really, really cool, and we had all these really great experiences. And uh, yeah, and then ultimately, you know, two years it was a number one, you know, top ten Saturday morning show, and you know, just gone. Yeah, well, got to go I, look for things. Well, the beautiful thing about that experience is that it taught you to do other things too. So that's that's a great. Well, Entertainment, uh, making art, you know this. It's all freelance jobs. You do one, on to the next thing, on to the next thing. Exactly. That. I've learned to have that experience. Uh, when I started producing my TV show, what I used to do was get a woman, and she'll have, walk around in a bikini or swimsuit, and I'll draw her. That's a really good scam, dude. That's a really that is good, not a scam. That's a really good scam. Like, can I get you in a bikini? Come on. It, yeah, it sure. wasn't a scam because here's the uh, thing, though. I'm a, I'm an illustrator. Before I showed up here, I was actually in a train drawing something for you, but oh, man. I didn't have time to complete it. Yeah. So, so what's going to happen is that I will complete it at home and send you a copy of it via yeah, well, via the internet. <clears throat> uh, the internet yeah. Yeah. I just didn't have time because I have so much stuff, things to do. Yeah. Um, you know, I didn't know whether or not I was going to get time from work to come here just to see you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm definitely going to tell my older brother that I got to meet you. And oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but still, he still wants to hear something. Also, um, since I know you're a prolif prolific voice actor, how did you get into voice acting? Well, I, I was... It's funny, uh, people always talk about being a voice actor and all of this, you know, and you know, I teach, I teach acting. And the truth of the matter is that voiceover is not voice acting, it's acting. Yeah. It's just, it's you, as a matter of fact, it's actually harder to do because most of our, you know, our discourse is we use our faces and we use our hands. And so you can, you can speak non-verbally, right, just by, you know, I don't know. Whatever, you know, there's the, uh, and so uh, to do voiceover, you actually have to be a really, really good actor because actors have to visualize a fake universe in their head, and a voiceover artist even more so because everything that you're responding to is happening in your head, so you have to see those images like really, really well to to be able to communicate them. So uh, I was with a, an agency and it was a you know young people's agency, but they also had a print department, a voiceover department, and a commercial department. Oh. And, the, uh, and the, so they, whenever they needed kids, you know, young people for these other voiceover, the yeah, VO jobs, I started going upstairs and doing them and then I started getting them. And then once I started doing the, a lot of them, I was like, wait a minute, 
it's done in an hour or like if it's an animation thing you know it's sessions are four hours tops yeah. and they usually start at like 10 o'clock in the morning the on-camera jobs you know you have to get about five and you know it's just ridiculous so i was i took to it i was like wait a minute this is the best job in the world the downside of it of course is that it's super competitive there everybody wants to do it and everybody is doing it oh of course i mean for example you landed um the one of the great roles Michelangelo for the live action Ninja Turtles. How was the recording process? Did they allow you to be on set with the puppeteers? No, no, no. They called us in once they were uh, once they were all done shooting, because uh, you know that way they could just go. We're going to pay twelve dollars, and you got to be there at noon. Uh, bye bye. You know, so they <laughs> they finish the movie and have and then called us in. So uh, and and none of us. It is a testament to the to the filmmakers of these things that we do our lines one person at a time. So we recorded all of my lines in four days or whatever it took. Wow. So did you get to record alongside anyone like Michael McConaughey? No, 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 no. You just did it by yourself? Everything's by myself, yeah. And I mean, I would see, you know, Corey was coming in for his session, so I'm leaving. There's like, hey, Corey, how you doing? And he goes in and does his thing. It's a real testament to the filmmakers that if you watch those things, it really sounds like they're talking to each other, and they're not. Yeah. Well, the, the puppeteers did a hell of a job. Jim Henson did a hell of a job. You guys did a hell of a job. Um, are you still in contact with your um, fr uh, co-workers from the Ninja Turtle franchise? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, we do, you don't audition at casting offices as often as you once did, right? There was a time where if you were going to be auditioning for something, there was a casting office and you'd go to it. And, and now you're doing everything out of your house. You're sending MP3s in it. So... I don't see them as often as I once did, but I mean, I've known Corey since we were kids, and uh, I, I've known Brian Toshi since I was a kid also. I mean, a lot of us, we'd see each other at auditions, and you know, it's just another part of the work. So uh, lately, though, you know, I see them less and less because uh, the, 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 you don't go to auditions anymore, you mail them in. Which reminds me, you should get Brian Toshi to come out with you sometime. <laughs> I, I know he has a voiceover career too. Um, he was part of the Bionic Six show, yeah. and and he was part of. Yeah, I love Revenge of the Nerds. They need to remake that movie. I agree. No, leave it alone. Actually, on second thought. Leave Le yeah, 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 leave it alone. I won't go that far, but all I'm saying is just you know it's a classic. It's a good thing. Good. It's like Michael Bay making Turtle. Anyway, well. let's. <laughs> Ooh. Well, um, well, um, career's over. It's fine. No, your career is not over. You're still in good, good work. I'm being amusing. I know. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Robbie, I want to say thank you so much for coming to my show. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Thanks for having me. Thank you for signing my, my copy of the movie. Yeah, yeah, sure. Of course. Oh, man. Like, my friends are going to lose their fucking mind when they see this shit online. Like, I, they're really going to lose their fucking mind. I'm glad I'm a shit loser. <laughs> you really made my day. That's very flattering. It's the truth, though. But I'm, I'm very happy that you showed up, you're here, and I got to interview you. Wish fulfilled. Well, right on. Well, I'm glad I could be a part of it. I'm glad I could be a part of a wish fulfilled and, uh, and some shit losing. <laughs> my favorite line from the Ninja Turtle movie um, that you said was Ninja kick the damn rabbit that's, that's amazing mine is oh, he who dings the shell must pay that's mine that's <laughs> but it's from 3 no one ever saw it no one cares I mean I saw 3 but and it no wasn't it. no one likes it it's just what it is we yeah. understand we've accepted it the writer was headed no, in they, the wrong direction they didn't these things are about giving the fans what they want. And in the Turtles case, the fans don't really need that much. But starting with three, they started taking things away. They started like not giving things to the fans. Yeah. They took away the edge. Yeah, right, right. And then, you know, and then Michael Bay made a crap. I mean, oh, see, now I get it. All right, guys. Well, uh, this is one of my best episodes ever. <laughs> With, because of Robbie Reese. But I'm not going to say any more about someone else. <laughs> he made his money. 
it's fine. Yeah, I, I no, his career is not over. He's he's a teacher. He's a voice teacher. Yeah. We need voice lessons. He's Talk to him. Ten thousand hours voiceover. Look me up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. All right. Well, it's time for me to call the date. Um, no, not call it. You know, <laughs> it's time for me to um let Robbie go because he has another appointment to make. James Rolfe's uh, panel. James Rolfe. We'll see the angry Rolfe. video game nerd. Oh shit! He's. For gosh sakes! You don't know who he is. He's so great. No. He's very funny. He has a movie out. Really great. Very funny. He does. He, actually, the reason that I'm I'm friends with him is that I saw online he did a review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three. That's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. So. I can't legally. All right, I'll look him up, but I can't do a review on the show. But I need to let Robbie go so he can take care of his other business. I'll see you guys later. Bye.